Well, a Temple University graduate was sentenced today to more than two decades in federal prison. Troy Rag admitted to conning hundreds of people out of a combined $54 million in what's considered the biggest green energy scam in U.S. history. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live at the courthouse right now. Matt, you talked to one of Rag's victims, we understand. That's right. And you know, federal authorities put a stop to this scheme back in 2009, and we're told that his victims are still trying to get their lives back. Prosecutors tell us this guy scammed everybody from elderly people out of their retirement savings to even a former U.S. president. Troy Wright, the founder and chairman and CEO of Montreal Corporation. This 2009 video shows President Bill Clinton recognizing the work of Troy Rag and his green energy company, Mantria Corporation. The video was taken during a ceremony for the Clinton Global Initiative, but it turns out Rag wasn't really focused on green energy. Instead, he was focused on greed. Prosecutors say Rag used about $17 million of the $54 million Rag secured from investors to pay out early investors so they would believe his company was making big dividends. In reality, Rag's company and profits were bogus. It financially devastated hundreds of people. U.S. Assistant Attorney Rob Livermore says Rag conned more than 300 people, many who were elderly. Rag admitted to enticing his victims to seminars and convincing them to invest everything they had in his green energy company based in Bella Kinwood. They were coaching people not only to empty the retirement accounts, but to take out home equity loans, credit card loans, other forms of loans, business loans. Rag claimed his company could turn garbage into clean energy from 2005 to 2009. The now 37 year old also convinced investors his online dating app called Lover was about to be sold to AOL for $10 million, but none of it was true. He had documentation, he forged emails. Oliver Buckley says he took everything he had to invest in Lover. Now he's driving for Uber to make ends meet. He lied to us, deceived us, stole our money, and now we're all suffering. And prosecutors tell us that he squandered almost all of that $54 million he received from his investors. They also tell us it's difficult to track every penny of it, but we reveal some of his big purchases coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.